que es su primera vez que va a probar enchiladas suizas. No es mi primera vez, pero... Especially if you come to Mexico City or Guadalajara, oh, man, you guys have to try these, these are the best. This is Fearlessness, the Gavis Nest for the weekend. For the week. <laughs> Our nest. Yes. This is where the magic happens. Take me, baby, take me. <laughs> <laughs> this is our view. There's the buildings, old historic buildings, are, they're trying to rebuild. But you can see the Latino Americana Tower. It is 1733 o'clock. And then we have the Santo Domingo. This is just a pedestrian walkway which ends up in the plaza over there by the Santo Domingo Cathedral. So that, this is it's a little place but like for Eddie and I this weekend it is ideal. Little table space between the bedroom and the living room. Little. And then we walk into the, the kitchenette more. It's fully stocked. Turn on the lights. The sink has a toaster, coffee, little stove top, microwave. And behind this is an oven which will not be used. But is it on? change in to something more comfortable. So this is our view from our balcony and we just turn on the street. It's about seven o'clock we're still it's a historical side of town so it is historical it's not like a Mesa or La Roma. But I can see it growing. I can see like this uh, building in front of me is like one of the things. All that section is one of the old ones behind the church. But the ones on the other side of this building that are new, this one's new, except for the ones right here. But they have like a gallery down the, the walkway here. So I think just with time, they're gonna get rid of all these people or have them relocate and um, do something beautiful. Look at that. The dome of the church. And then we have the Latin America. Tower right there. We are all the way in the top right there, Eddie. 
Hi guys from uh, Mexico City, Mexico. On love family vlogs. We're here to just kind of wrap up our video, um, describe our favorite part of our first day in Mexico City. So Eddie's gonna start with his favorite and then I will describe what I enjoyed the most. We got here super early, so we couldn't uh, check in at the hotel where we stayed. The Airbnb. Or the Airbnb. Um, so we had to go and start exploring the city super early. So we ended up um, walking down, so then we just came across the Zocalo. And to me, that was the favorite part, you know, because it's the anticipation, all the build up, the main reason that we decided to come. And then when you're walking and then boom, there it is, you know. It's, we actually thought it was much farther from the place we're staying at, right? Yeah. We thought we were gonna have to walk a lot to get there. And no, no, it's like two, three, three blocks. And we're not talking about New York blocks. We're talking about not even Los Angeles blocks. They were, they were short blocks. And we got there and all of a sudden we're like, we turn a corner and it was there. My favorite part was the Zocalo. I thought it was gonna be much, much bigger. It just, I just, because of I seen it on videos, all the people that fit in that little square. It's a square with surrounded by historical buildings. And um, no, it was smaller, but it could be because it was empty. It was 6.30 in the morning, so just the cleaning crew were there, very clean. What, weren't you surprised about, yes. about the, how clean? Yeah, because it seemed like they had a, a Chiapas or Oaxaca event over the weekend. They're at the Zócalo. At the Zócalo. So they were taking a lot of the stuff down. But not only but, um, that, as we walk, as we, we explored the city, the park, like Alameda Park was being cleaned. And we saw those workers throughout the whole day. Yeah. Even at the end, even this little walkway that's behind our, our, our Airbnb, it's so super clean. There, and then there is the problem of homeless. But you know, I, I've been to New York and we've been, we go to LA a lot, downtown LA, where there is a homeless problem. And I haven't seen that here. They are homeless. Uh, people sleeping because we were out there at 6 37 o'clock so we did uh, um, unfortunately see people that were sleeping on the floor covered with uh, you know one or two blankets but not like i saw in new york and not like i i see often in in la so you know that's just downtown you know i don't know if other areas but you know in la downtown la that's where the homeless problem is right yes it is I also enjoyed a church we went into. It was um, St. Francis Assis. I, I don't patron. remember, but it's I right next it to. Um, it's uh, off, of, off of the um, Madero Street, the popular walk, walking pedestrian street. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really beautiful if you get a chance. If you're ever here in Mexico City, make sure if you're on Madero Street and you see a church right there. Well, there's two. Uh, the first one. Um, we went in there, very beautiful too, a lot of relics, a lot of statues. And the second one was a re uh, active Catholic church. So um, it was beautiful, just so many things. You know, we've done the 21 um, missions in California. So we, we enjoy that old uh, historian, um, the historical churches. That's why we're, we're standing here by the doorway because we want you to see the view we're gonna see at night. Beautiful uh, dome from a church that's like a block and a half away. Uh, we didn't get to go in that one because we were tired and we walked all the way back. We ended up doing like 14 miles today. So yeah, it was a lot of walking. But you know, I didn't. You can't. We. I'm tired not because of the walking. I'm tired because we had a lack of sleep. Uh, you know, we, our flight left at 12 at night last night. We got here at six with two hours difference. It's a four-hour flight. And we haven't slept. Go with your hand. <laughs> Eyes? Are you tired? Yeah. No, your hand. This is moving a little. Over here? This one? No, the other one. The one that's oh, the shaking. camera. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, well, I'm tired. Are you tired? Yes. Alright. You want to close it? Alright, so we'll keep on posting videos. Make sure you guys follow, subscribe, and we'll be back with more adventures. Viva Mexico! Cabrones.